What's up guys? Today we are watching season 2 episode 9 of Breaking Bad. So last episode was... my god. It was good but also I don't want to say stupid but mostly stupid because they had to keep Badger out of jail. But Badger got arrested you know and in order to get him out Jesse and Walt needed a plan so they kidnapped Saul and now they're in a predicament to where they're, in a way, working with Saul on shit, but not like a full-on partner. I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe. I think people said that he's going to be like a reoccurring person, like in the other seasons. We'll see. Maybe he's in this episode. I don't know. But I want to see how they continue with that. I mean, right now it seems like they're doing good, but also bad with keeping everything under wraps, but... We'll see. But I guess, let's just get into the episode. You know, you, you, you guys really don't need to hang around. We, we won't even get the results till next week. But we, we're gonna be here. You kidding me? It is a full PET CT, correct? You definitely want to get the results. I'm sorry, but these... These scans are not that difficult to read. I could take one look at Waltz and tell you immediately how he's doing. But they're doing it their way. I get I get what she's saying, but see anything? I'm just a technician, Mr. White. Dr. Del Cavoli will go over the results with you next week. Sorry. Ah. Next week? But he's there now. Was that an abnormal? That had to be an abnormality thing, right? Or I was tripping. I don't know how to read scans like that. Actually, the money laundering aspect is fairly straightforward. But I gotta tell you, the not telling your wife aspect? Most people want to know why they suddenly got rich. So, he's back in the episode. Kind of figured. Sorry to hear it. I was, uh... Hoping we could make some real money together. Oh well. Look, let's crunch some numbers. How much money are we I thought he had way longer than that. Or maybe shit changes. You just left your family a secondhand Subaru. Let's just have to cook more. A lot more. Yeah, that's uh that's my legal opinion. Don't be a dick about it, man. Like he knows the shit that he has to do, but Again, they somewhat just started, and they're still figuring shit out. So don't make him stress even more. I never did call her. You're expecting the, the news from the scan to be bad. Wait, did he just say in a way that he didn't tell his mom that he has cancer? Leave you something if... If I'm no longer around, I just need to get that straight, that's all. You say that and you're, pro you're not even gonna go. I thought it was daytime. You're telling me it's nighttime? <laughs> we should do something. I never thought you'd be the type of person to pick yellow for your bed. Or maybe that's her bed. But she also doesn't seem like a person to pick yellow. But... Why don't we go up to Santa Fe? We'll make a day of it. You want to go to all the way to Santa Fe for a museum? Oh wait, so is Walt actually gonna go see his mom's? So does that mean everyone's gonna be basically out of town this weekend? And by everyone, I just mean Walt and Jesse. Culture won't kill you. Besides, you might like it. A lot of her paintings look like vaginas. Really? That piqued his interest. Leave a message. Where the hell are you? Hello, 
Jesse, pick up. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, one sec. Oh shit, so is he not gonna be able to go out of town? You'll need today at least to gather supplies. Now, we're going to need all new glassware, heating mantles. About a hundred pounds of ice. Do you, do you have a paper and pencil you should be writing? So he's leaving him to do the shopping. Plans in my book. Well, screw you and your He's hanging out with the girl. Going to a museum, huh? Yeah. Georgia O'Keefe. Georgia O'Keefe? She's a It doesn't sound believable, we know. But he's doing it for the girl. And I keep forgetting her name. Need to cook. Through to next Tuesday. Tuesday, four days straight. <laughs> like it or not, we have no choice. Yeah? And why exactly is that? Because of Saul now. It's losing its chemical potency now. Unless stealing another barrel sounds good to you. Hell no. Oh, I thought it was because of Saul. Unless he actually just lied. I don't know the science shit. But I'll be back before you know it. And you can always call if you need me. What, and risk talking to your mother? <laughs> Have to be some emergency. <laughs> okay, so they don't really like his mom that much. Unless the mom's just too much. Gonna walk right back out. Who's coming to pick you up? Jesse? Oh, I thought his car was about to pull up. Not the car, but the RV. Jesse, I'm sorry, this is stupid. Why would you bring the RV? It really is a long trip just to go cook, but I mean, they're doing what they gotta do. Stupid. Three entire bags of Funyuns? Oh, Funyuns are awesome. God. I disagree. i rather Hot Cheetos. Now I'm kind of craving Hot Cheetos. Absolutely not. To assume Skylar checks my phone records, you know that. It's not business, all right? It's personal. Oh, personal. What, female? Me. Oh, wait, he was gonna try and call the girl? But it's like now he's just gonna go after him for it because he doesn't think that he's going after, like, a girl that's a good person or something. He's judgmental. A lot. That's right. Why don't you try to find a place where it won't get lost, hmm? Considering it's our only set, and we are a million miles from nowhere. I swear, if those keys literally end up being gone by the time they're done, what are they gonna do? They're gonna be stuck out there. Did that show that the RV thing was still on? Cause like I know some people actually do leave like their key in the ignition sometimes. Like maybe just to forget, but he did it so he didn't lose it. But it's like, I couldn't tell if it was just showing that it was, the RV thing was still on. Put the corn up into the sky. I'll take you one by one by one. Come on and take why use such a soothing song for cooking? $672,000. All of it? No. Each. Each. That's a lot of money. And the fact that you did that mentally, like, teach me your ways, because I can't do that that fast. But I, was, I don't know why. I was, the way he first said it, I thought he was about to be like, 
aggravated about it and I'm just like, what more do you want? But we love this and who pulled up? Well, uh, there goes the generator. I think that's it for the gas. Perfect timing, yo. Or was that actually the generator? Oh, we are way out of schedule, man. All right, the, the, the Jenny needs gas. We're almost out of propane. And my back is killing me from that piece of crap cough. Yeah, I'd say a break is needed. <laughs> uh, separate rooms. Um, yeah, that's a given. What did I say? If you left it on, then the battery's dead. I knew. To put the keys in a safe place. Where did you put them? I left them right here in the, um, the ignition. Son of a bitch. But I thought it didn't, I, I thought it didn't, I didn't think it mattered unless you like just turned it on. Like not all the way on, but like, you know, there's one click and then another to turn it all the way on. I did not, it's faulty, it's a faulty mechanism. Is this just a genetic thing with you? Is it congenital? Did you, did your mother drop you on your head when you were a the baby? The buzzer did not buzz and you were the- The fact that that man is coming up, like coming at him like this hard because of this, he switched up so fucking quick. I wanted to leave them on the counter, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, the workstation. Jeez. Okay, just. They have no way to get gas or like to help with the battery. Unless like you find out some kind of way, Walt. You know your substance shit. <laughs> Ew, uh, is that gas? That is not good to have in your mouth. Bad, huh? No shit, Jesse. How about you give it a taste? All right, start it up. <sighs> What's wrong with this thing? That's really cool. Oh wait, yeah, so... It was just the RV battery that was messed up, but not the generator. But then also they probably ran out of gas for the generator, so they might be screwed in this moment. Blew it up. Okay. Oh, well done, Jesse. As always, just isn't that their water to drink too? But it's like he was just putting out the fire. I'm sorry. I know a lot of shit's going wrong in this moment, but Walt, he was trying to put out the fire, and he did it as fast as he could. Hear me now! Damn it! What about Walt and his phone that had a bar or whatever? But then again, it's like, who, who are they gonna call? They're in a meth lab van, RV. Dumped out the last of our water, that's what I know. There was a fire, excuse me for thinking on my feet. Oh, is, is that what you, would, you were thinking? Ah, now that we've identified the problem. Is someone else not gonna wanna throw water on it? And then it's like, yeah, it's the last of your water, but then also, you're not exactly gonna think everything through in that moment. You're just trying to put out the fire. Miles, and he's just gonna go past the uh, the casino with the big arrows in the parking lot. Right, no, big arrows, giant arrows. They light up and blink and shit. You can't miss them. I feel like they're gonna fuck it up somehow. You know, just until the forest ranger found him, he said it tasted like really hot, really old soda. You're not helping the situation, Jesse. No one wants to think about having a drink there on your end. Yo, yo, where are you? Oh, so you saw the white sign? Yes, he's almost, he's almost here. I thought he was about to say like they weren't like close at all. What river? 
Yeah, hey, yo, what river? Hey, Pete, what the hell river are you talking about, man? There's no river. Hey, yo, Pete. Yo, Pete, can you... Did the phone just die? So, dude is not at the right place. They are screwed because they don't even have a charger. It's white. What now? Now you go to sleep, Jesse, because there's nothing you can do. It has to work. You understand? Because if it don't, y'all are kind of screwed. No. No. Then you hang it in. Y'all are really like dehydrated. Y'all don't have water, no nothing. So it's hard to have energy. Half of me doesn't spoil, does it? So he just lied about it? So I was right earlier, he lied about it. Yo, lie much? So technically he can't even really say anything because Walt is basically the reason they are out there because they could have waited or like had a more decent plan if Walt could have waited a little bit. Even if it does work, didn't y'all like drain the gas? Because I remember it getting in his mouth. <laughs> but now they also have heat and shit, you know? Please, God. No. God. And it worked for a second. Why couldn't I have just got us out of it? He was actually going to have a life thing to do, you know, with the girl. And Walt didn't care about his social life and was like, let's go. You weren't coughing up blood in the bathroom earlier, unless you were. I didn't think so. Keep them straight in my head anymore. Do it. Screw this. I'm walking. You can come or not. I would have thought that Walt packed a charger, but then again, it doesn't have power, so how is he gonna charge his phone? Stops pumping. You go marching out there, and within an hour, you will be dead. But again, what are they supposed to do? Something scientific, right? Like, come on! Man, you're smart. Or you made poison out of beans, yo. <laughs> There's gotta be something, I mean. Or that way you can just send up a signal flare. Or you make some kind of robot to get us help. Or a homing device, or... A robot. Its substance is not technology shit. Bring me brake pads. The, the, the front wheels should have discs. Take them off and bring them to me. So now he's coming up with something. But now he's really angry. What are we building? You said it yourself. A robot. A battery. <laughs> I know he was hoping for the robot. <laughs> so, it's no more than an anode and a cathode separated by an electrolyte, right? Right. Well, anyway. He's like, I don't know. I'm just agreeing with you. Potassium hydroxide is the electrolyte. But yes, that's what I'm soaking the sponges in. Good. 
at least he wasn't making fun of you for not knowing it. You knew, like, a part of it. Hmm? Uh, liar. Yeah. Copper. You were on a streak. Anode. Damn. That is good. Okay, so yeah, there was electric shock, so at least you know something happened. You're telling me that actually worked. And we couldn't have thought of this sooner. Jesse was his motivation, that's all I'm saying. Because he was trying to be positive about it. And that was with Skylar earlier. Skylar was trying to be positive about shit, but Walt was being negative. So. Your family will get your share. Thank you. Man. It's so sad that he had to like talk about that right now, but his condition is getting worse, I guess. I'll be hearing from you. Yeah. Yep. He, he hesitated with that shit, as if he thinks he's going to be dead tomorrow. Unless maybe that's what he thinks. Because again, didn't he say earlier he might only have weeks or something? Is that baby ever going to come out, you think? <laughs> uh, I know. I know, enough already. She seems like she's been pregnant for so long, but then time in the show is going by slow. And you're showing signs of remission. Huh? So, what? And how has my cancer responded? Walt, your tumor has shrunk by 80%. You're kidding. So quick? And we were all scared. Is 80% a lot? Is 80% a lot, Skylar? Um, I would think so. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Just when I tried to get out, they pulled me back in! <laughs> I'm sorry, but if they didn't have to wait a week for this result, they wouldn't have had to go through, like, such sad shit. According to your scan, Walt, you have radiation pneumonitis. It's okay. This is fairly common. See that scary looking thing there? That's what I saw earlier. You probably have a tear in your esophagus from the coughing, and that can be very serious. You could rupture and bleed to death. This is something that we're going to have to deal with before you leave here today. I swear, one second we're getting good news, the next second we're like, no. It's just time. We'll have more to discuss in the next few weeks. But for now, I'd say that you folks have earned some celebrating. So he doesn't have just weeks anymore. and that was just some pent-up anger you needed to let out. I thought someone was gonna come walking out of the damn, like, stall and saw that. But, like, that is so good that he's, like, basically in remission. And I know that they said that doesn't mean he's technically cured. But that means he has a lot of time and if you think about it he mostly started cooking up shit because he was trying to leave his family with like a lot of money and make more money so they wouldn't have any more money problems but it's like if he has way more time than he usually thought then does that mean he's just gonna 
continue to do it. Like, I guess there would be no reason for him to quit. Because, like, he still is trying to make, like, more money. But then again, it's like, he mostly started because he thought he's going to die. And, I mean, there still possibly is a chance. But right now, he's in remission. So, I don't know. It's like, I feel like maybe sooner or later, the tumor might grow again or something. Like, they did say it reduced by 80%, which is a lot. But it's like, I don't know, I feel like sooner or later it might size up again, which is bad. But I don't know. I'm just, like, predicting at this point. Because I'm just trying to give him more of a reason as to why he's still cooking now that he knows that he's not going to, like, die too, too soon, I guess you could say. But... I don't know. But literally, like I was saying earlier, they had to wait a whole week just to get that good news. He wouldn't have had to spend that whole week feeling negative and everything if he didn't have to wait. But like, I don't want to agree with Marie because she was kind of, I don't know how to word what she was doing with that, but she was kind of right. But, mm, it's a good thing though that they finally got that van RV working again because I thought that they were going to be stranded there because if you think about it, they literally had no other way. They couldn't call anyone else because they couldn't charge the phones and they didn't even have service. And it's like, even if they did, the other dude, whenever they were trying to get out, the other dude went to the wrong place. So it's like... How were they going to get out in the first place? And I thought that they drained a lot of the gas or whatever. So I'm, guess I'm guessing they had still enough gas to get out of there. I don't know. I was just kind of confused with that moment. But at least they're out. And now we know Walt's like somewhat good. Besides the coughing. But they're going to check that out. But... I feel bad that Jesse didn't get to go on that, like, trip thing with the girl to go to the museum. Because, I mean, I think that would have been pretty nice for them to experience together. And, I mean, like, he's trying shit that she likes, you know? It would have been cute to see. But Walt stopped him from going because they had to cook. And that just makes me mad because Walt didn't take into consideration anything that Jesse was doing. Like, Jesse literally said, I have plans Walt's like, no, you don't. And I think that's pretty disrespectful. But since they did cook a lot, they are getting a lot of money. But still, it's a whole different thing. Walt, like, he has his good moments. He has his bad moments. And right now, it's mo I, for me, it's mostly bad. Because I get aggravated with him a lot. But it is what it is. But I'm just glad to know that he's somewhat doing better now. And Saul was actually in the freaking episode again. So maybe he's in the next episode. I don't know. We'll see. But I guess come back for episode 10. 